Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will be going to explain you basic comparison of network devices. Those network devices are repeater, hub, bridge, switch and router. To understand all these devices, I have made separate videos in which I have explained how router functions, how router functions, how we can have functioning of switch. I have explained how bridge can be there how we use hub in computer network as well as i have explained you all the case studies which is there with repeater so in this video i'll explain you comparison of all these network devices so here various parameters are there you can observe and based on all these parameters i'll explain you how all these devices are functioning so when it comes to comparison then you will be having fair enough idea about how exactly all those devices are working and in which situation we can use it right so let us compare all those devices with respect to number of ports so you should know repeater that is having two ports hub is having multiple ports bridge is having two ports switch is having multiple ports and router is also having multiple ports right like if you observe here this is router right so router is connected with multiple ports if you observe switch so switch is also connected with multiple ports if you observe bridge so that we use it to connect two similar lens right so it is two port device if you observe hub so hub is also multi port device right and repeater that is to regenerate signal it is also of two port device right so that is how number of ports will be there now as if you talk about second parameter layer then you should know repeater and hub that functions at layer number one that is physical layer you can say hub is hub is multi port repeater right while bridge and switch that functions at data link layer you can say switch is multiple port bridge switch is multiple port bridge that you can say right and router is functioning at network layer that is net layer number three so there can be question in UGC net examination based on in which layer which device is functioning so at that time you should be having fair enough idea about how exactly layers are there with different devices right now let us try to understand how data forwarding that is happening with all these devices like you see repeater that is working at physical layer so there will be only data signaling like whatever data that comes it will repeat that right so here there will be data signaling only it is functioning at physical layer with hub also there will be only physical layer where only data signaling will happen bridge and switch that functions at data link layer right so here data forwarding that will happen with respect to mac address with respect to mac address data forwarding will happen so you should know mac address is a physical address of all the host right so physical addressing that is happening at bridge and switch router is forwarding data based on ip address so here logical addressing that is happening right logical addressing means addressing happens with respect to ip that is logical addressing when addressing happens with respect to mac that is physical addressing right so here i have given that even like you see addressing that happens as per to another port with repeater see in repeater there are two ports only so obviously whatever input that you give based on that it will be generating output at second port so here there is no need of addressing it will just give signal to another port while with hub it will give output to all the ports which are connected to hub if you observe hub then you will get to know like you see for example with this hub if you give signal over here then output will come to all the host over here right so here data forwarding happens but that is what like one to all right so here in data forwarding there is no need of any physical address right it will be just giving it to all the ports with hub while with bridge physical addressing happens as per mac address here with switch physical addressing will happen as per data link layer mac address and here logical addressing will happen with respect to ip see logical addressing means what based on 
IP address that addressing will happen. So at router layer, you can say at network layer, network can define how much traffic can be there with given link. Like in network, you will be observing so many hosts are connected. So router can define which link can have how much traffic. So that is possible by logical addressing. In physical addressing, you will be having physical address, right? So where based on physical addressing, based on MAC address, data forwarding will happen. Now when it comes to memory, then you should know with repeater and with hub, there is no memory. Why the reason is it will just forward the data based on input. So in repeater, there are two ports. So one port to another port data signaling will happen. It will just repeat the signal or you can say it will regenerate the signal. In hub also same thing happens. It will repeat the signal, but it will repeat the signal for all other ports, right? While with bridge, while with bridge, that data forwarding will happen based on MAC address. So obviously there will be memory which will be having idea about MAC address, right? Here with, here with switch, there will be MAC addressing, right? And with router, there will be memory based on IP address. So you'll be observing with switch, there will be MAC table, right? Or you can say physical address table. with router there will be table based on routing algorithm right so you can say routing table that will be there and based on that logical addressing will happen now when it comes to processing power then you should know with the repeater router. and hub there is no processing power right when you talk about when you talk about bridge then bridge is used to connect two similar lands like as if i talk about bridge connection then for two similar lands, like two similar Ethernet LAN, like for two similar wireless LAN, we can use bridge. So where you will be having processing power as per connection of two similar LANs, while with switch, there is a processing capabilities based on error checking. You should know with switch, you can have error checking, right? So whenever any host is forwarding data to another host which is there in another LAN at the time switch will come into the picture so switch will receive the frame first it will check error of that frame if error is not there then only it will forward that right so error checking capability that is there with switch and when it comes to router then logical routing that will happen so it is also having processing power in which it will calculate what should be the route for data forwarding so logical addressing will happen which will identify what should be the exact path of data forwarding right so logical routing will happen in uh, in router right so that is how processing capabilities that will be there so with repeater and with hub there is no processing power right it is not having any intelligence that you can see when we talk about collision domain then collision will be maximum with repeater and hub why the reason is all the host can give data to those devices. So there will be maximum collision. There will be moderate collision with bridge. The reason is bridge is not that intelligent. It is obviously doing data forwarding based on MAC address, right? But you will be connecting two LANs. So many of host which are there on in that LAN will be forwarding data to that particular device. And as it is not having that much intelligence, there will be moderate collision that you can say, but with switch collision domain will be minimum. Why the reason is it is having functionalities based on error checking. So unnecessary traffic can be avoided over here, right? As well as it is having memory in which it will store the frames and it will forward based on physical address. But when it comes to router, then it is also having minimum collision domain. Why the reason is logical routing will be done. So unnecessary data will not be forwarded over here. There will be logical calculation of routing algorithm and based on that it will forward the data. So you can say collision domain that is minimum over here, right? Minimum means it cannot be zero. Remember, I have seen many of the people are saying like there will be zero collision domain. It is not at all possible, right? You can say minimum collision domain will be there. When it comes to usage, then router is used 
for range expander so i have already told you many of the usages right like for example in your building you are staying at floor number 2 right and if you not if you are not getting wi fi of ground floor then at floor number 1 you can use repeater so that will be acting as a range expander so from ground floor to second floor one can receive wi fi signal so that is range expander that you can say see hub can be used for star lab i have told you in explanation of that even hub can be used as a star lab right in which we can do broadcasting when we talk about bridge then we use it to connect two similar lan right two similar lan means both of those lan can be ethernet lan both of those lan can be wi-fi lan both of those lan can be token ring lan when it comes to switch then we use switch for formation of lans as well as for physical addressing and in physical addressing we do error checking as well so switches are also very essential and router is used for internet internet means i can tell you like everything that we can do right like you can use data which is there somewhere in canada and you are staying over here in india so everything is possible by using router that one can say the reason is logical addressing comes into the picture where ip level addressing will happen at layer number three in great detail i'll explain you how router uh, ip routing and all those things will happen but right now just consider this is how it is functioning and i think this much clarity is sufficient enough to understand how exactly differences are there one more thing that i can add over here that is based on cost right so you can say router and switch those are costlier device compared to repeater and uh, hub and bridge right so cost wise switches are costly router is also costly and that you can check it in uh, online store even right so this is all about comparison of network devices i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share it with me please note it down in comment section thank you so much for watching this video